Good day, folks. Today I'm going to be talking about a game called Owari from the 3M Bookshelf series. This particular game came out in 1962 and it is for two to four players. This game is part of the Mancala series of games, and Mancala came out a long time ago, around 3500 BC. Essentially, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be trying to get rid of all of your opponent's stones in his area. This is a very cool game and I really like it a lot and my wife likes it too. But I'm going to show you how to play it right now. Check it out. Okay, so I have the game set up. I'm going to just show you some of the components real quick. You have this really nice game board that folds out. Uh, you have a bag that has these really, really nice stones. These stones have been tumbled and they're really, really smooth. And you also have another bag with these nice glass marbles in them. These marbles are basically going to be used to uh, set up your territory. Now I have this game set up for four players. Um, each player has three pits, which are these holes here, each, and each of these pits have six stones. It's a four player game, so it, each player gets six. If it's less than that, um, everybody's going to get less stones. Like a two player game, everybody gets four stones, for example. So the way this game works is each player is going to uh, pick up all the stones in one of these pits and start dropping them counterclockwise into each of these other pits. What they are trying to do is they're trying to get the last of their stones to end up in a pit that either has one stone in it or two stones. Uh, the person who ends up doing that is going to be able to pick up the stones and put them into his pile right over here. Let's say I'm a red player. Um, you can basically start uh, from any pit you want. And, um, and I'm going to go ahead and just take blues here. And I will go ahead and start dropping these stones into these pits here. Two three four five so now i haven't made anything yet so i'm gonna go my next guy's gonna go he now has an empty pit here that he might be able to score on so let's say orange goes and he starts he goes and puts the stone here here and here and here and here and here so let's say green goes now green would like to be able to try to have his last stone end here because he will be able to uh put these into his collection since it will make two stones so let's say Green goes ahead and he picks up these stones right over here. He places them like so. Two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. Since his last stone ended up in here and it made two stones in this pit, he is going to be able to go ahead and take these and put them into his pile over here. Now another unique aspect about this game is that if you end up having like two stones here, two stones here, three stones here, it has a backwards effect and you'll be able to collect this um, the stones from this pit and this pit and this pit, but they have to be consecutive. So let's go ahead and say that we have a setup like this. There's two stones here, two here, two here, and one here for orange. Let's say it's Red's turn. Red goes ahead and he decides he's going to pick up this set of stones and he places them like so. Four, five, six, and seven. Red will now be able to pick up these and these and these and these because he made a train of two and three stones each. So he puts these all in his pile. So let's say play continues. Now, if you end up going all the way around and then, then some, you're going to basically have to skip uh, the pit that you started on. So, for example, let's say you had a whole ton of stones in this in here. Pick it up. You would do like so. Since you started here, you're going to go ahead and skip this one and then continue on. Now, since Red did that, he'll be able to go ahead and collect these two from green. Now, um, Red and any of the other colors won't be able to pick up from their own pit. So, for example, if Red ends up here and he has two stones, he's not going to be able to pick these up because this is in his own territory. So, that's generally how the game works. So, I'll just go ahead and kind of go through a round here with you. Orange decides to go. So, Orange picks these three up, and he can pick them up from anywhere again. And he goes here. He ends up having three stones in this pit, so he takes them and puts them in his own pile. So, now Green decides to go. Green sees that he has uh, an easy move here, so he goes ahead and does that and takes those three stones. So, now it's Red's turn. All right, let's say Red decides he's looking... And here's another thing, too. Um, you have to keep the stones in the pits. You can't just take them out of your hand and start counting them. You have to count them where they lie. And that's part of the strategy is just trying to figure out how many stones are in here. So let's say Red decides to go. Red goes ahead and says, well, maybe I can get lucky if I do this and pick up all these. So Red goes ahead and starts sewing them or placing them in here. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so he skips this one and he ends up there. So he ends up getting these stones in green. So now it's Green's turn. Green needs to get some stones in his pit or else he's going to end up, uh, he might end up out of play. So Green goes ahead and let's see what he can do here. Green decides, uh, Green has this, he goes here, here, and here. He's not going to be able to pick these up because it's not uh, a consecutive run here. He'd need to have two or three stones in there to do it. So he picks these up. And this is basically kind of how the game runs. You're just going to go ahead and keep on doing this. And ultimately what you're trying to do is you're trying to have the most amount of stones here in your section. The game is basically going to end when two players no longer have any stones in their area. This is for a four-player game. If it was for a two-player game, it would be one player not having any stones in his pit area. There are different versions of this game uh, in the instructions. There's uh, the Coastal Orari, Oriental Orari, and the instructions are slightly different. They just vary slightly. But this is a really cool little game, if, um, and I would suggest picking it up if you get a chance.